Hello guys, I know it's been a long time, but now I'm back again with a tutorial. Normally I work on the tablet, but some of you wished that I would paint on the cell phone again. For those who don't know, Autodesk Sketchbook for mobile phones is a little bit different than the tablet version. The differences are not very big, but many people wonder why the layout changes between the tutorial videos. But you can follow my tutorials with both devices. So have fun! So today we want to create a snowy landscape with a small cabin. We start with the perspective guides tool. Make sure that the two point mode is activated and select the constraint grid. Set the perspective with the points like this and lock the perspective guides. Also make sure that the magnet is crossed out. Now we can start with the cabin. We want to draw a wooden house with tree trunks as walls. So select the technical pen, use a small brush size and paint circles next to the cube edge. We do this on the right and on the left side. And on the two back lines of the cube we repeat the same with smaller circles. The number of circles does not need to be so exact. Now trace me with this simple trick you get a great three dimensional effect. When you have finished as far as I have, deactivate the perspective guide tool and connect the three columns with lines. For this you use the line tool from the draw styles. If the amount of the tree trunks is not quite right, cheat a little bit. We don't take that exactly. It should be fun. Next we create the new layer and set the doors and the windows. It's easier if we reduce the opacity of the bottom layer. So far so good, we will take care of the details later. We switch again to the other layer and set the roof. This looks kind of strange now, but we will put the snow on top anyway. Draw the lines on the front side up to the tip. Here you can also set the round window if you want. But don't forget to switch to the other layer. The sketch of the cabin is finished. Now we can create a new layer at the bottom. With the inking pen and the brown color we paint the whole cabin. Try not to paint over the edges. With the filling tool you can make the whole thing easier for yourself. Next we paint the edges of the trunks with a lighter color.
With the tattoo anchor you can paint the grain of the wood. This is a nice little detail. Now switch to the middle layer and lock it. By locking the layer we can simply paint the lines only. Use a darker brown and the inking pen. Great, but the stems still look flat and not three dimensional. So we switch back to the lower layer, choose the flow airbrush with a black color and activate the draw styles lines too. If we now set the lines along the niches of the stems, the wooden wall gets a plastic look. We can enhance this look with a lighter brown color on the locks even better. Not bad, the walls looks great. Now we lower the opacity of the two lower layers. And take care of the details from the windows and the door. Decorate the elements with details as I do, or you are being creative and you make your own thing. Now create the new layer at the bottom and paint out the door and the windows. And the inside it's nice and warm and bright. So we take a warm yellow color. With the tattoo anchor and a very bright blue color, you can create a glass effect. With the lines of the doors and the windows, we do the same with the corpus. Lock the layer and paint over the lines with a brown color. And do not forget the door handle. Now it's time for the snowy roof. First create the new layer at the top. Use the tattoo anchor and the blue color like that. In the comments I am often asked why I use so many layers. It's very simple. When I use more layers more steps are divided, so you can easily delete something without touching the previous step or layer. And you can reconnect the layers at any time. Now we paint the front of the cabin roof with a lighter blue like this. Perfect. Do not forget to paint many icicles. Yeah. 
at the back of the roof we put some more shadows. You can blend them easily with the smudge web brush. When we are done with the roof, we create a new layer under it. Reduce the flow of the tattoo anchor and grind some snow on the wall of the cabin, so it will be really detailed. On the shady side we use a darker blue. Now if you want you can connect all layers of the cabin. You can also change the tone of the color at any time now. Or you change the size or the location with the transformation tool. Oops, I forgot the chimney. If you put your cabin in the right place, we will create a snowy hill. We create the layer at the bottom and use the inking pen. For the color we choose the light blue of the roof. Use the pipette. We start with the hill from the top to the bottom and get darker and darker with the color, like this. Then we blend everything with the smudge wrap brush. Now we copy the hill and mirror it with the transformation tool. Now we switch back to the hill in the front and paint some simple footprints with the tattoo anchor. Now it's time to draw a tree. Create a new layer and paint the tree with a dark brown like this, of course with the tattoo anchor. Now we take the middle blue of the roof with the pipette and then paint on the tree, on the left side. But do not paint over all dark parts. For the other side use a darker blue. When the tree is finished you can copy them as many times as you like. Put the trees where you want, but pay attention to the order of the layers. On my channel you can find a video where I go into more detail about cupping and layers. You can find a link in the video description. You can create shadows at any time with the tattoo anchor and the smudge wrap brush. Or with the flower brush. Now only the sky is missing. For this we create the layer that came all the way to the bottom. We take the inking pen and start with a black color at the top. 
with a blue color we get lighter and lighter on the way down. With the smudge wrap brush we blend the entire thing. Next with the inking pen and the cold blue we paint on the moon. To make him glow we use the glow brush. For the stars we simply use the glow neon brush with the same color and a very small brush size. With the glow brush you can also let the windows of the cabin shine. Perfect, that looks nice. But before I forget, make the chimney smoke with the salty watercolor brush and the smudge web brush. Ok nice, that's it. I hope I could help you. On my channel you will find more tutorials of all kinds. I hope you will stop by. And of course I must thank you. I now have over 20,000 subscribers. That's so amazing. Thank you very much. I hope you are all well and Merry Christmas.